what will be the future profit of the company so future profit is got by average profit minus interest on investment minus remuneration to partners whenever a business is taken over so that business because of the goodwill of that business it will earn extra profits that extra profit earned by the business is called as super profits four important types of intellectual property rights are there the first one is the patents trademarks copyrights and trade secrets Hello everyone I am Purnima faculty in the department of commerce and management Vidyashram First Grade College Temple of Excellence Mysore I welcome you all to this session in the session of 3 of unit 3 let us work out one problem here so let us see what the problem holds for us so problem 1 capital employed in a business on March 31st 2021 was 20 lakhs and the profits for the last 5 years were as follows 2017 Two lakh sixty thousand, eighteen two lakh eighty thousand, nineteen two lakh seventy thousand, twenty two lakh fifty thousand, twenty one two lakh ten thousand. Calculate the value of goodwill on the basis of three years purchase of super profits of the business. The normal rate of return is ten percent. So they have given the profits for the last five years, and they have also given us the capital employed. so the capital employed is 20 lakhs and last 5 years profit is given we have to calculate goodwill based on the super profits now so we will have to find out the calculation of average capital employed so the average capital employed is 20 lakhs so we assume that the capital employed and the average capital employed is also the same so that is 20 lakhs then calculation of average profit so total profit divided by the number of years now the last 5 years profits is given so we add all the 5 years profits i get 12 lakh 70000 divided by the number of years is 5 so the average profit is 2 lakhs 54000 the next step will be calculation of future maintainable profit so what will be the future profit of the company So future profit is got by average profit minus interest on investment minus remuneration to partners. So what is the average profit? Two lakh fifty four thousand. So there is no interest on investment, no remuneration to partners. So I take it as zero. So the future maintainable profit also remains the same at two lakh fifty four thousand. Then calculation of normal profit. Now how do we calculate normal profit? average capital employed into normal rate of return divided by 100 so the average capital employed is assumed as 20 lakhs into 10% so that comes up to 2 lakhs so 2 lakhs will be the this is the normal profit now we have to calculate the super profit so how do we calculate the super profit that is the fmp minus the normal profit What is FMP? Two lakh fifty four thousand. What is normal profit? Two lakhs. So the difference amount we take it as fifty four thousand. So this becomes the super profit. Now next, how do we calculate the goodwill? So goodwill is given as super profit into number of years of purchase. So fifty four thousand into three that comes up to one lakh sixty two thousand. so this is the answer so this goodwill of this company is valued at 162000 now problem 2 for the following calculate the value of goodwill at 3 years purchase of super profits so the average capital employed in the business is 10 lakhs net profit for the past 3 years is 1 lakh 35000 1 lakh 60000 and 1 lakh 40000 the rate of return is 10% the fair remuneration is 20000 per annum to the organizers now here we have the solution to problem 2 so calculation of average capital employed so we have assumed that the whatever is the given capital so that will be the average capital that is 10 lakhs calculation of average profit that is total profit by number of years So the total profit will be one lakh thirty five thousand plus one lakh sixty thousand plus one lakh forty thousand. So that comes up to four lakh thirty five 
thousand divided by three is one lakh forty five thousand. So this is the average profit. Now next step will be calculation of FMP. How do you calculate FMP? Average profit minus interest on investment minus remuneration to partner. So average profit is one lakh forty five thousand. Then Remuneration to partner is 20,000. So when I deduct this 20,000, I get 1,25,000. So the calculation of normal profit is average capital employed into NRR by 100. So that comes up to 1 lakh. Next, super profit will be 1,25,000 minus 1 lakh. So this is the super profit. So calculation of goodwill, super profit into number of years purchase. So that comes up to 75,000. So the next method is the annuity method. So when a business is taken over, goodwill is paid by the purchaser at the time of business for the super profits of the business. But these super profits are earned in the future years. So whenever a business is taken over, so that business, because of the goodwill of that business, it will earn extra profits. That extra profit earned by the business is called as Super profits. So let us take a clear example. Suppose the super profit of a business has been calculated at 50,000 and it has been considered reasonable that five years purchase of super profit approximate the value of goodwill. The contention is that the purchaser of the business can expect to enjoy the super profits of 2,50,000. He should pay an amount which will give him an annuity of 50,000 over the next five years at the current rate of interest. In other words, the value of goodwill is the present value of an annuity of the annual super profit paid over an expected number of years at the current rate of interest. So this 50,000 will be the super profit. So for the next five years, he'll expect to have a extra profit of 50,000 because of the goodwill. So it is the annual super profit payable over an expected number of years at the current rate of interest. So this 2,50,000 he will be paying to the owner of the business as goodwill. Then this is what is known as the annuity method of valuation. The amount of goodwill under this method can be found out by the annuity table and the formula. So how do we calculate the formula? So the present value of annuity of rupees 1 for n years at r percent. So 1 minus 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n divided by r by 100. So this is the formula for calculation of the annuity value. Then next let us see the brand value. So the brand value is defined as the foundational beliefs that a company stands for. They refer to the ideals guiding the brand's actions such as environmental protection, diversity, solidarity or transparency. So it is the monetary worth of the brand. If you were to sell it, so brand value would be the amount they would pay for that right or brand. So brand means it is the foundational belief that the company stands for. So nowadays we see people more going after the brands. So why do people go after the brands? Because they are assured of the quality of the brand and the durability and also they know that what the brand is actually. So they refer to the ideals guiding the brand's actions such as environmental protection, diversity, solidarity or transparency. Then the top five most valuable global brands in 2022 were the Apple, the Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Tencent. So these are the five top most global brands of 2022. Now let us see what is this intellectual property rights. So intellectual property rights refers to the legal rights given to the inventor or creator to protect his invention or creation for a certain period of time. So intellectual property rights means, so it is the protection given to the inventor or creator of a particular art or anything for a certain period of time. So four important types of intellectual property rights are there. The first one is the patents, trademarks, copyrights and 
trade secrets these are valuable assets of a company and they should know how they work and how to protect them so whether it is the patent the copyright or the trademark or the trade secrets they are the assets of the company and they should know how they work and how to protect them so generally the creator of the work is deemed to be its owner however the intellectual property ownership can be determined differently for different types of properties under varying circumstances usually if it is a musician so whatever the musical piece whatever he creates so it will be his own exclusively so he will be carrying the patent or the copyright of that music so if anybody wants to use that music he'll have to pay some money to the musician and then he may have to use that musical piece now here this intellectual property ownership can be determined differently for different types of properties under varying circumstances for example if the work is created for an employer the employer is owner of that intellectual property so steps to protect intellectual property keep business ideas and trade secrets a secret so how do we protect the intellectual property first one is you keep the business ideas and trade secrets a secret document concepts and original content in detail apply for a trademark register all ip trade secrets and creative works make the investment so if you are having any intellectual properties please keep it registered and also make the investment so in this way we can have a brand value for the intellectual property rights with this we come to the end of this session hope you have all followed it thank you